you know what's the difference between a dinosaur and a cockroach? Welcome to the Bear Pantry Show. If you're looking for authentic Belizean recipes, then you're in the right place. My name is Barbara and this is Cooking Made Simple. Adaptation. The dinosaur could not adapt to the changes in its environment, but the cockroach could, and that's why we still have them, all right? Now, having said that, we're going to have to adapt. For everybody who says, Barbara, I don't know how to deal with dough. It gives me trouble. I don't like to put my hand in flour. You know, what am I going to do? These are some hard times that we're going through right now. We have to ration our food. We have to make sure that we know how to make things to feed our family. So what I want to show you guys is how to make Belizean Fry Jack, all right? Now, Belizeans do this all type of ways, but I do it very simple. So now, I have a bowl here, and in this, I'm going to add a cup of flour. This is going to feed three people, okay? And if you're pinching it, it might be able to feed like five people, but I'm going to say three. So one cup of all-purpose flour, because I told you guys to pick up flour, right? A teaspoon of baking powder. And you can either make it with water. I had Joe do one of the doughs a little bit earlier, and all he did was the cup of flour, the one teaspoon of baking powder, and he just mixed the dough with water. And we're going to fry that dough to see how it comes up, because traditionally that's how it's made in Belize. Some people will put some type of fat inside the dough, oil, butter, stuff like that. I don't because it's fried in fat, and so um, it's too much. You know, it's overkill. Now, I'm going to add some milk because this is the way I like it. We happen to have a little bit of milk. If you have powder milk, I would add a little bit of powder in here and then add water. The milk makes it fluffier to me. To me, that's my own thing. I don't put any salt in it. You can add salt if you want. Now, as I'm doing this, let me tell you a little story. I started my show, The Bear Pantry Show, back on October 23rd, 2011, because I wanted to teach people how to eat from nothing. That was like the main thing about my show. So at that time, we're going through the recession. The recession really started October of 2007, but nobody really knew that except for me and Joe. Well, not just me and Joe, but other people that were in the kind of work Joe and I used to do. You know, so we're on the four, four what? Four ground, four end. Well, we're before. We're the harbinger. We were the harbinger because when people bought stuff from us in September and October in the line of work that we did, which was printing plastic bottles, that's the stuff that, that they were going to sell for Christmas. So when they weren't buying in October of 07, I was like, oh my God, what's happening? And then by January of 08, they said it was a recession. So our little business weathered the storm, praise God. And um, in 2011, I told you, I want to write my cookbook and to sell my cookbook, I'm going to do a show. So at that time, we knew some young people that were in their 20s, and they worked for a company that you know, bought silk screening uh, business from us. And every time they got paid, there were three people, two cousins and another roommate. Every time they got paid, they could only pay their rent, and they couldn't buy food. So I would tell them, come by and I'll make you some fried jack, some Johnny Cake, flour tortilla, stuff like that. So they liked this the best, the fried jack, because it's fried. And um, they were Filipino people, so I think, you know, their food is like closely resembled to what Belizeans eat. And one of the girls said, Barbara, you should really make a YouTube channel showing people how to make this fried jack because you taught me how to do it. Now I can go home and make it for, you know, my cousin and the other roommate. And other people need to know how to do this too. So that's how I started my YouTube channel, okay? So let me get my hands washed off so that we can mess with this though. Oh, oh I'm going to tell you about the oil. Hold on, hold on. So there was no cooking oil in the stores when we went except for this one bottle. So we grabbed this and we have a little bit of leftovers from before and then Jada went to the Dollar Tree. I told you guys that in a former video and she picked up a big jug of oil. So we're just going to pinch it. So we're going to open this one and use it. I've never fried in sunflower oil yet, but we're going to find out today though. All right. So, oh, my hand got greasy. Anyways, let me show you what I have here. This is mine that I just did. This is Joe's that he did from water earlier so he didn't put milk he put water and this is Jada's now let me tell you what I did for Jada I remember that scripture this morning uh, from 1 Kings 17 where the woman well first of all the prophet Elijah was being fed by the brook you know with the raven and stuff then God dried up the brook and told him to go into this village or whatever to see this widow woman and he went he, the man of God went in there and said hey can you make me a cake and feed me first he asked for some water and she's all like look all I have is a morsel of meal, and I think that's some type of cornmeal or flour or wheat or something, and um, a cruise of oil. I'm going to make a cake for me and my son. We're going to eat it and die because we're starving. And the man of God says, feed me first when you make the cake, and then you're going to see what God's... Well, I don't think he said that part, but 
it was supposed to show what God's going to do for her. So she activated her faith. She had to. Because if it was me, I don't know if I would have fed this man. I was like, isn't it just like a man of God to come in and want to get fed first though? But she activated her faith. So because she said a morsel of meal and a cruise of oil, I decided that we're going to do this with sourdough starter. So I was going to feed my starter. So I poured off the amount that I was going to feed it with, made a cup of it. And then Jada just put it in the bowl and add flour to it. That's all that is. All right, this is the first time I'm trying this, but we're going to do it because that story just said, I woke up with that story on my heart today. And I want to make sure that I'm not just like physically feeding you guys, you know, teaching you how to feed yourself, but I'm also uh, spiritually feeding you. So this is mine. I'm just going to fry one of each because this will feed three, okay? Let me set these aside. And this is Jada's. This feels so good. This one feels so good. So all you do... First of all, you could like make it into a ball like we did with the Johnny Cakes, right? You could do that. And then you want to cup it. This cupping thing that I showed you guys, or this, like this, is to tighten up the dough, okay? So it'll operate well. So for the cruise, okay, for the morsel of meal, I'm imagining that's like a cup of flour or something, some type of grain. And for the cruise of oil, um, I, I went to go look it up and they say cruise, C-R-U-S-E, is what they store water and oil and stuff in and it could be from a big cruise to a small cruise so i'm imagining she had at least a cup of oil so that's why i wanted to do the um the one with the sourdough starter because she didn't have baking powder i don't imagine she had baking powder or yeast right so that's why i wanted to do that one so i don't want to make them too big because we have to fry them in this little skillet why because we're saving on the oil so let's put this cruise of oil in here she said it was a cruise. We didn't we need enough to cover. It's kind of like deep frying, but not. So let me go ahead and put this here. Thanks to Joshua for running camera because my blue snowball mic is giving me trouble and I can't do a voiceover for this video. So it's gonna have to be a live on tape type video. So this one, this is mine, I believe, with the milk. And then this is Joe's. I'm gonna do the same thing again roll it and cup it and then roll it out the same way now when I come back I'm gonna be doing Jada's all right so just let me go ahead and do this the one from the sourdough starter is a little bit damp so I'm putting flour on it and I had Jada do that one for a specific purpose it's because Jada has trouble with dough she says she sucks at it but I don't ever say anybody suck at it because it took me a long time Sometimes you have to put two slits. It took me a long time to be this good at making dough, okay? This might be too big for that pan. It might fit. It got really, really flexible when I lifted it up. Uh, you know what? I'm going to re-knead this. I don't want it to be this big because I feel like it won't fit into my little pan. So I'm going to knead it out a little bit more stumpy. Meet me over at the stove, guys. All right, guys. So I have it here. This is Joe's. It's a little bit whiter in color right let me see this is jada's for sure this is the one with soda starter so what joe is doing he's taking one and he's going to roll it out so that should have fed two people right but he's going to roll it out to stretch it so we can feed more people off of it meanwhile i'm going to start frying let me see if my pan is ready you're doing the one with the milk mm -hmm. Look, same color okay i think it is So see what Joe's doing, guys? Just gonna cut it into different shapes. You can make a heart to entertain the kids while they're sitting at home scared because they don't know what's going on. Go back and read that story in 1 Kings. It's 1 Kings chapter 17, I believe. Because later the story continues that time had lapsed and the woman's son got sick and then he was not alive anymore. You know, I can't say the word on YouTube you want to take that up and, do? and um she went to the man of god again elijah that's the one that went up in the whirlwind right and told him what happened and so he went up i think into a loft or something i have to go back and read the story but he laid his body on top of the boy's body three times and the boy came back to life so when you sow a seed with somebody it's because god has a, a miracle or a harvest planned for you
I don't want to get burned. This is the Sawdough one. It's reacting nicely. This is the first time I've made fried jacket on the Sawdough. So while they're hot, you want to go ahead and put butter. By the way, Joe went to Costco two days ago and he got some butter, praise God. Because you know I was like losing my mind because I wasn't getting butter. And I made my own butter too. That video will come up shortly. Now to put a lot. I can't wait to taste that because that starter is so pungent. Guys, Joe had a wise idea. Look how many pieces he got out of that that was only going to make two like that. Look. How many pieces, Joe? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight? Like eight pieces? Mm -hmm. Wow. Right there, if you get one piece each, Joe fed eight more people. If it's two pieces, he fed four more people out of something that was only going to feed two more. Joe, I'm so glad you know how to grow things. So here they are. This is the one made with water. This is the way most Belizeans will know it. And that's fine too, but you know, I like my one with milk. This is the one from the sourdough starter. See, it had that weird striation. Is that a word? Weird discoloration. <laughs> and then this is the one from milk. They all have butter on them. You can eat this with cheese, egg, peanut butter, jelly, um, that refried beans. You know, we're building upon the things that I've made so far because we're truly eating this stuff in real time, right? So, sorry, baby, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. So, my American side of my family, the white folks, <laughs> they take a little bit of powdered sugar and sprinkle it. Kind of like a little ghetto donut. I like it like that too. A lot of Belizeans don't like it like that. So... I'm going to cut it because I don't want to bite. We don't want to share germs. Let's taste the powdered sugar one. This is the one with the milk. I already know what this tastes like. Do you want to taste anything, babe? I'll taste this one. This Let me cut it. And Jada just whooped down in there to get one. I think I'm cutting with the wrong knife. I'm anxious to taste this one, too. It's a little bit hard, but it's good. Mm -hmm. It's cooked on the inside. Let's see. Definitely tougher. But it's good. But I feel that's how their bread was back in the day. Mm -hmm. They had no leavening agents and stuff. They had to do sourdough. I'm sure they had to do sourdough. This, this is back in the Bible days, this one right here. It's good though. It tastes like a fritter. I think I would like this with a sprinkle of sea salt. Coming right up. A dash. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. Right. Let's taste this one. Let me see if I remember what this tastes like. This is the one that I used to. You know, I don't know who the first person is that made a fried jack with milk, but the first person I saw do it was Joe when I first got married to him. I love it that way. The way I used to eat it when I was a kid, but it's alright. If you don't have no milk, mm. I'm gonna have to show the people how to make coconut milk. Because some of you can't find any milk. Okay. Thank you so much. I have to wrap up the show quickly and leave because one of my followers on Instagram called me and said she lives near me and she wants to give me some chicken. Praise God. When you give, you shall receive. That's how it works. Do how the thing go? Give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure. Press down. Shaking together. Running over. Right? I, I'm, I hope I didn't mess it up. And then it says that the, the Lord will cause men yeah. to give on to your bosom. So the Lord doesn't come down from heaven himself and give it to you. He used somebody like this lady. She says, the Lord set you up on my heart. Do you need chicken? I have more than enough. Come get some chicken. I'm going to get this chicken. You all don't even know. Praise God. That you like what I've put out. Don't forget to subscribe, of course, so you know when I know I put up another video. And I'm putting up like three a day, right, Joe? Yeah. Don't forget to comment because that shows YouTube that we have interaction. And they'll put it out even more. And what else is that? Follow me at Facebook. Don't forget to subscribe, right? Mm -hmm. you ready to do that? And share it. Yeah. Please, copy the link at YouTube and share it on your Facebook page so everybody can see this because this is why I started the show. Right. Fried Jack was the main reason I started my, my Bear Pantry show. Thanks, guys. Bye, people. Thanks for the help, baby. I really appreciate it.
Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you're seeing me on Facebook, don't forget to follow, like, and share the page. If you're seeing me on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the page. And if you want to see me on a different platform, come and join the membership at Patreon. It's patreon.com forward slash Bear Pantry Show.